guys. I haven't said anything yet because I just wanted to get here. Um, but we've just got in the hotel. We are in Malaga for four days um, for a little like city break. I've been here quite a few times, but this is JP's first time in Malaga. Um, so I think the video might be one or two parts. So don't forget to subscribe uh, so you can catch the next part of the video. But I want to show you the hotel we're in. Um, I've stayed here before with Han. It is such a fantastic hotel, an amazing location. Um, and the room is so, so nice. So let me show you it. So this is just their basic room. Um, we've not gone for anything extra. Um, everything's quite like modern. This is just my airplane outfit. Leggings, something oversized and um, sketches trainers just for comfort, but it's 20 degrees in Malaga. So I'm changing as soon as I finish this video. There's the bathroom, currently occupied. <laughs> uh, you've got like a nice little TV, mini bar, coffee station. Um, you've got a little kind of like, this wallpaper is so nice. I want this wallpaper. Everything seems very like quite new. Um, we've got this little kind of like reading nook area, a little desk where I'm gonna do my makeup, but no mirror, unfortunately. It needs a mirror here. Um, we've got the bed, the bed is so cute um love the little cushions like it's just really clean and fresh and then there's this lovely little kind of like end of the bed bench where i've put my handbag um nice um wardrobe as well i've not looked in there yet uh, we haven't got a view so i think we've just got like a view of the courtyard <laughs> So I do know that they do, you can pay extra for like a street view. Um, but this hotel has got an amazing um, rooftop pool with a view of the cathedral. So I'm sure we'll take you there later. So I'm just going to quickly freshen up, pop a tiny bit of makeup on just so I feel a little bit less gross, uh, change into something a little more cool. And uh, I think we're gonna head out for some. JP is desperate for some jamon. If you don't know where Malaga is, Malaga is in southern Spain, um, in Andalusia. Um, and they're known for a lot of amazing like Spanish cuisine. So if you love food, this is a great foodie destination. They've got paella, ta like so many tapas bars, uh, jamon, Iberia, Iberico ham, Monchego, an incredible market, which we're gonna visit. Um, so yeah. It's gonna be a bit of a foodie tour. Um, I'm also gonna be doing some kind of like cultural things. And it's also really great for shopping. It's just a great city break destination and flights are really cheap out of the UK. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a nice one guys. And I love Malaga, so I always recommend it. But if you've not been, then maybe this vlog will tempt you. Also, I forgot to show you guys the bathroom because um, Tom was using it. But we've got a lovely like walk-in shower with a rain shower. Um, some towels, just a really nice sink area, and the loo. Um, some lovely toiletries, and a vanity kit, shoe shine. That's cool, baby. You should take. Oh, there's a bee day. <laughs> what do you think of the room, babe? Good. Really nice. Okay. So our hotel is right next to the cathedral that was built in 1782. It is pretty much in the centre of town, you really can't miss it. Um, it's absolutely beautiful and you can of course go and have a look around inside. Um, here is us with said cathedral. How cute are these magnets? Um, being so close to Africa, there is a lot of those kind of Moroccan influences in uh, Malaga. So next we headed to Casa Lola. It was super, super popular so we thought we would give it a go. We were really craving some Spanish tapas. This restaurant is amazing. They have quite a few um, outlets in Malaga. It's a little local chain. Super, super affordable, authentic. So many options. This was the best sangria I had on the whole trip. The coquetas was amazing. Uh, the prawns were super yummy. Uh, we actually went here multiple times, so uh, stick around for that. But yeah, highly recommend Casa Lola. So we just went to Casa Lola and it was so good, wasn't it? Really Would you recommend? Yeah, 10 of 10. It was 50 euros. For like, and we just ordered everything we ever wanted and it, the prices were so good and tried that Ibirico burger with a special sauce. The special sauce is really good.
So this ice cream bar is from 1890. I think it's one of the oldest ice cream bars probably in the world. And this is JP's first time trying it. He got the coffee. Coffee cream, really good. Really good. I've been here many times when I've come to Malaga and it always hits. I got white chocolate and pistachio. I think they would go well together. <laughs> We're now going to go into JP's favourite shop. Are we? Yeah. What's that? Sephora. <laughs> Just had such a lovely experience in Sephora. Um, everyone in Malaga is so lovely, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, there's a perfume that I really like the smell of, but I don't know how much I'm going to spend on the trip. So if I don't spend too much, we might be going back for the perfume. <laughs> so we're just stopping for a little drinky booze. How are you enjoying Malaga? So far, so good. So far, so good. What do you like the most so far? There were only people. There were no the food. Food, yeah. <laughs> the food is really good too. <laughs> So this hotel has a really nice roof terrace and it's just kind of sunsetty. so we're gonna go up and probably have another drink <laughs> and yeah, check out the view. This bar isn't just for hotel guests, anyone can enjoy this view. There's also a fantastic cocktail bar with craft made cocktails. It's a fantastic place to watch the sunset and enjoy a little drink. You're propped up really precariously. <laughs> um, but we've just got back from dinner. We went to um, an Argentinian place that JP picked. Um, it was really good, but they just kept bringing like all these little pots of like dips and sides that we never ordered as like, you know, free of your meal. And um, we'd ordered a starter and we'd ordered two steaks um so much food uh we couldn't even finish unfortunately couldn't even finish like the steaks like they were huge um <laughs> and they just kept bringing all these like dips and breads and pestos and mushrooms and purees <laughs> it was kind of comical i think we probably had about 15 different little dishes of things that we didn't even order <laughs> So I didn't film because we're tired and don't want, sometimes we want to film. Um, but I thought I would show you what I picked up at Sephora because I probably want to use it tomorrow. Um, also, I had to get myself a little something from Duty Free because you just have to. Um, I love the Chanel lip balms. They are a really interesting, unique formula uh, where they're not too shiny um they are like a matte hydrating lip balm i have a couple already and i wear them loads during the summer this is from their like winter collection um which i guess is for like skiing because i guess and like the cold makes your lips drier this is like a frosty but matte lip balm it was just so unique i i wore it today because i obviously put some makeup on uh, when I got back so I tried that really really nice looks really lovely with a lip liner you can obviously just wear it on its own and the packaging the white with the gold for Chanel and break I'm like just perfection um I have like my goal in life is to go to the every Sephora in the world <laughs> um there was a couple of things that I wanted to pick up from Tarte um, and um, when I was there the representative from Tarte was there and they, he was like oh if you 
um, buy two or more items today, I can give you a free gift. And I'm thinking like a mini blush or like a sample of some concealer. You know what I mean? Like when you say free gift with purchase, it's normally that kind of thing. But, you know, I was looking to buy two items anyway. Um, so I got the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump, but they've just come out with shimmery versions. Um, they're all over TikTok at the moment. This is one of my favourite lip formulas, but now it's got glitter in it. Oh, guys, it's it's not going to... This is not going to do it any justice whatsoever. Um, if I can, I'll try and put a swatch in. Um, but if you just look on like TikTok or probably even on the Tarte website, you will see how stunning. And then this is something that's come out this year. And I adore Tarte eyeshadows. They, I know they're basic, but I, I reach for them all the time. I get so much wear out of them. And for me, that's probably kind of more important than maybe buying something that's more unique to my collection, which might not get a lot of actual wear out of. Um, I love this because you've got some blushes, these cream blushes and a cream bronzer. So I can take this on holiday and like, well, I don't even need a highlight because I guess you could also use that. I would bring a highlight. <laughs> um, and yeah, it was so, so pretty. Um, so I just had to get it. I just had to get it. They also have it in uh, deep for the face colours, I believe. I think the eyeshadow say the same. But look at how beautiful this package is. It's like a like pastel sunset. I think I'm going to wear this palette tomorrow. This is perfect for travel. So you've got quite a few metallics to wear. And this does have like a little shield to protect from your powders and vice versa. So absolutely stunning. Swatch beautifully in store. And then he was like, oh, like, just come back, show me, like, your receipt and et cetera, et cetera. He gave me a whole eyeshadow palette. Um, I do know this is, like, a little bit of an older product, but I was like, oh, okay. That's a big gift for purchase. So it's the Rainforest of the Seas, High Tides and Good Vibes. And the palette has got one of those, like, water, it, like, moves. It's really cool. Um, and then this is inside the palette. Super pretty. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't know if I'm going to gift it or try it out. I want to see a couple of like swatch videos and see if I'll actually use it or whether I'll pass it on to someone that maybe gets a little bit more wear out of it than me. Um, but I was going to buy these two products anyway. So that's <laughs> a really nice bonus. Um, and then the final two items I got, um, I didn't obviously go crazy because a lot of stuff now you can just buy in the UK, but there's just something about going into Sephora and being able to see it all in one shop. In the UK, like everything's kind of everywhere, like Rare Beauty, Space and K, um, Fenty, you've got boot, you know, is in boots and it's all everywhere. Whereas in Sephora, in, you well, I know we've got Sephora's in the UK now, but I'm not even, they're always like places I never go to. So um, next up I got this, which is Rare Beauty's Body and Hair Fragrance Mist. This smells stunning. Um, if you've ever smelled fresh, I bought one of their lip balms, fresh sugar anything, this is basically like the perfume version of it. It's a sweet, fresh citrus but it's warm and just almost a bit sensual. Um, it's just, it's so lovely. And when I sprayed it in store, JP couldn't really smell it. But when I sprayed it um, this afternoon, he was like, that smells really good. Um, so this is a bit cheaper than a perfume. I think it was, I think it's been about 30 pounds in the UK, uh, which for like a, a fragrance mist, I think it's pretty good. Smells really nice. They also have a hand cream and some other things, but I'm all about the mist. And then finally, um, Paco Rabanne, Rabanne um, have come out with a makeup line relatively recently. This was actually in the sale. Um, they had a couple of bits left over from um, Christmas, I think this was from. And you get the deluxe 
or like the mini mascara and then a duo of the eyeshadow. I just have been really curious about the brand. So I'm not gonna get the mascara out because I'm you know, waiting to use my one up that I've, I'm using at the moment. But let me show you the eyeshadow palette. This is in Iconique. So I think you can buy them. I will say very lightweight. It's not heavy, um, but it is quite, they're quite premium prices. Um, and it is like a silver and a gold. I think this is great if you could just use this as like a topper. Um, they're really unique. So the top shade is a sparkle shade and the bottom uh, gold shade is metal. They look super like textured and interesting. So um, yeah, excited to give them a go. Happy to obviously get it on a bit of a, a discount. And the mascara looks really nice too. So that's everything I got from Sephora and Duty Free. Um, we're now gonna go to bed. I'm gonna take my makeup off. Um, tomorrow, we're going to the market. And I think we're going to the, I think it's the fort. I'll get JP to say it because I can't say it. But yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. We've had a great day, but I'm absolutely knackered. Obviously been up since five o'clock and I slept. Like, no, I didn't sleep at all, really. I think I fell asleep at like one in the morning. <laughs> My sleep's been really bad recently. So um, I've had about four hours sleep and waking up at 5 a.m. Did a, an hour and a half drive to the airport. Um, and to be honest, I didn't fully relax until we got kind of on the plane. <laughs> So yeah, it was kind of like high emotions from probably like yesterday evening onwards. <laughs> so yeah, happy to be like chilling. We've had quite a few little drinkies today as well. And a lot of food, we're actually like, we've eaten too much food this evening. Um, yeah, we both were like, we should have shared a steak, but you just don't know. Cause only when you order a steak in the UK, like it's a, it's a steak for a person, but these steaks were huge, um, but the restaurant was like right by our hotel. I'll try and leave everything, like I'll name everything down below if you are interested in visiting any of these places. So there's some homework for you, Bex. Get, get writing all those names down. The next day. Good morning. We are off to a famous Toro place for breakfast. Um, it's just gone 10.30. We had a bit of a lion and we very much needed it. Um, so today we're going to go to the market, the other side of town, and then we're going to go to, what's how do you say it, babe? Alcazaba. Alcazaba. Good. Quite good. good. Yeah, yeah. And chocolate was. How much was the bill? Perfect. Ten euro. Ten euros. For two coffees, a juice. Or chocolate. Or chocolate and churros. In three euros, yeah. Pretty good. And we're now we're literally going just outside the market, and we're gonna have a look around. This is the Mercado di Atranzanas. If I'm saying that right, probably definitely not. This market dates back to the 14th century and the current uh, market was built in 1870. It has over 300 stalls selling all sorts of local produce. Some of it you can take home with you, it's been vacuum packed. While some other stuff, maybe if you've got an Airbnb, can cook up some things with fresh seafood and meat from the local area. This is a must see if you visit Malaga. It is so vibrant, there's so much going on and there is loads of stuff that you can try there and then.
Also in this area are loads of fantastic independent shops like this one. This is a confectionery shop that sells lots of chocolate, nuts, um, candies, but they also have a window filled with crisps that they sell for in these almost sack-like bags. And then we headed back to the market to get some tapas. The market is surrounded by these little bars that serve uh, freshly cooked tapas like croquetas, but mainly delicious seafood. I did get some tuna, monkfish, prawns, as well as this paella. It's really, really affordable and the food is so fresh, so out of this world. We then headed over to the Alcazaba, which is an 11th century Moorish fort. This was absolutely beautiful. It was very tranquil and peaceful, and it was only 350 uh, for the entry fee, which is just a bargain, in my personal opinion. Uh, there is a lift if you don't fancy walking up the hill, and I will say it was fairly accessible. Um, there are some stairs if you do want to look at some of the views, but overall it was a really nice trip. Um, we'll say though in the summer it does get incredibly incredibly hot up here on the hill so it is recommended that you do go earlier in the mornings. We just went to the Alcazaba. Alcazaba. I keep calling it Azkaban. <laughs> it was so nice. Um, it was um, a Moorish mm -hmm. fort type thing, so had quite like Islamic yeah. uh, styles. Oh, it was Arabic so beautiful style. with lots of yeah Arabic styles with like um, mosaics and carvings and beautiful arches. There is a lift, uh, so it, there is a lot of um, uphill to the to the top we didn't do that <laughs> um, which I'm kind of glad we didn't because I imagine in the summer as well that would be pretty intense so uh, yeah there is a lift option which doesn't cost anything extra 350 euros yeah. to enter I think it was a bargain it was really peaceful and relaxing and we're now heading to the port to probably just grab a drink and do the sightseeing yeah Marina is a great place if you want to grab a drink or grab dinner and there's also some fantastic shops. It's a really great place to relax and just beyond the marina is the beach uh, which is perfect if you fancy a bit of sunbathing. So this is the beach. It's um, it's like not fully sand. It's like a little bit gritty, but it's really nice, very clean. Um, it's actually surprisingly, but it's January, so don't forget. So it's been beautiful weather today. So I think people are just chilling. JP is, I think he's gonna see how cold the sea is. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but he's off on a mission and um, I'm staying here because I don't want to get sand in my shoes. <laughs> We 
just had dinner at a restaurant called Gusto and it was a Neapolitan like pizza Italian restaurant it was really good like we always struggle to eat at Italian restaurants being with JP being so close to Italy we are spoiled over there um especially when you're in like a tourist place like Malaga it's often really hard to find like good Italian and this was so good and it was literally <laughs> it was right next to the place we ate last night we saw it when we were going to the place we were eating last night we were like that looks good it's <laughs> literally right around the corner of the hotel uh it was 35 euros for two pizzas a cocktail beer and dessert bargains uh so yeah that's a great place if you're looking for kind of like a cheap uh dinner out in malaga that's great quality it was literally just like the neapolitan pizzas we've had in italy like the ingredients the cooking the, the dough so good and also the service the servers were lovely there was drama there was an argument on a table and uh it was dinner with a show it was <laughs> great for 45 years you can't go wrong can you so yeah that was that was fun wasn't it <laughs> I love the drama. Um, anyway, um, this is the end of part one. So don't forget to subscribe because part two will obviously be coming very, very soon. I uh, hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. Give it a thumbs up if you are and I'll see you very soon. JP says, night-night. Bye. <laughs> Bye.